good evening to all of you and sir a uh, very, very heartfelt thanks for coming here in spite of a very hectic day and i'm sure a very hectic few weeks for you you want to start off by congratulating you complimenting you for presenting a very balanced budget it's always it it isn't ever an easy exercise but in this particular budget the special emphasis on the sector that needed a lot of attention has come out especially agriculture rural economy infrastructure msme financial sector reforms bond market so so there are quite a few areas which have been crying for attention and uh, you have paid attention to this you have balanced out the various demands on the budgetary allocations and created a truly outstanding budget which spurs demand spurs investment and also creates great employment opportunities we especially i think it's been spoken about a lot but truly welcome this special emphasis on healthcare and education because ultimately the quality of our country uh, the quality of human resources in our country is going to be the future wealth of the country the national health protection scheme or what is being called as the ayushman bharat scheme for providing coverage of 5 lakh rupees to more than 10 crore families which is almost a third of the families in india is truly a very bold and path breaking initiative it will truly make healthcare inclusive affordable accessible to all and we do understand that the scheme is still all the details have to be worked out will be implemented with cooperation of the states but it will truly change healthcare in this country we also uh, congratulate you sir for the record jump in both the direct and indirect tax payers it has been an effort of your government over the last few years to ex expand to widen the tax net and quite a few hard decisions taken by you and your government have come to fruition and it has been clearly showcased by the expansion in the tax payer base of this country we do feel at fiki that this will help compliance culture and obviously make more resources available to the government on behalf of our msme members we are also truly grateful sir for the reduction in corporate tax rate for enterprises which have a turnover below 250 crores um this has truly expanded this particular benefit that you had promised a reduction in corporate tax rate cut a few years ago to a large uh, a large number of corporates in this country the decision to extend the fixed term contract to all sectors is also a huge positive we at fiki have been have been supportive of that have been asking for this for quite some time and truly happy to see it come through the one area where i'm sure you gave a lot of thought and in a very pragmatic way allowed the revision of the fiscal deficit target to be loosened a little bit and not be held hostage to the uh, uh, to not only the bond market but the fiscal vigilantes to make sure that there was enough resources being spent to give the fillip to demand in the economy infrastructure and rural economy we at fiki truly support this new glide path as outlined by you we are also very happy sir that lot of things we at fiki have been advocating to the government in the last few years have come through we have been advocating incentive based investment based incentives employment based incentives as a need of the hour and we have seen that in the last year's budget and this year's budget several proposals have been made to this effect to include the extension of the fixed term employment to all sectors we had also submitted a proposal to the pmo and the ministry of consumer affairs on the need to put together an architect for forecasting demand and supply for agriculture products as well as pricing agri commodities for better supply management and food inflation we are very happy to see that this has also come through in this budget even on the gold sector we have worked extensively with the government 
and there are a lot of proposals which are in alignment with the work FICI has done. A lot of other suggestions, sir, in for direct taxes, for indirect taxes, which have been made by FICI, have all been incorporated. We're truly very grateful for that. We're truly very excited by that. As with everything else, there are always a few things we all ask for and do look forward to as we go forward. Sir, your promise of reducing the corporate tax rate for all companies in India and bring it down to 25 uh, still remains partially unfulfilled. And we do hope that as the, as the revenue buoyancy gets underway, you will also come true on this count. We do feel the nominal GDP growth in this year will be a lot more than what is estimated, and that will also give some more fillip to the resources that you have available. We also feel that the non-tax revenue part uh, of the annual budget is a strong strategic tool that can also be exploited. And for the last few years, the non-tax revenues have been about 23 to 24% of the total receipts. Given the assets that are available with the government and the focus on strategic divestment, on disinvestment, we think there is a possibility in the future years to take the non-tax revenue to more than 35 to 40% of the total receipts. The other thing that we do, uh, all of us do ask for and, and, and expect in the coming years that we will evolve an economy which is fairly balanced. We have seen in the media that quite a few people in the media have tried to frame the argument as a farmer versus corporate argument, as you know, the rural versus the urban economy argument. But as you have shown in the past, as you have always said, that we need inclusive growth and the interlinkages between urban India, rural India, between farmers, between corporates has, has now evolved to a stage that it has to be a win-win for everybody. And we do feel that you have, over the years, truly provided this balance. And we expect that this will get further enhanced. Because ultimately, we do want corporates to make investments. We do want corporates to create jobs and employment in the country. And given that the economy is on an uptick, in the last four or five months, we have seen a clear uptick in the economy. We do think that the path for this is also very well created. We also hope that there is reduced litigation on the tax front, the complexity of the tax processes, which have come down over the years, but they continue to come down even further because a lot of uh, time and effort and resources are wasted in the litigation on tax issues. So, and the lastly, one of the things that we do hope that there is a lot more communication on the strategy for resources raising for this year, especially to give some uh, comfort to the bond market. We have seen that the bond markets have not been able to understand the government math. And we do feel that from the government, uh, a lot more communication will be helpful. And as the bond markets calm down, it will be good for the economy and all the, all the constituents in that. So along with that, sir, thank you very much for being here. And again, congratulations, compliments for an outstanding budget exercise once again. Thank you.